good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well today we'll be talking about monitor calibration this one so several years back uh, i knew nothing about monitor calibration i was wondering when i processed my image beautifully in my computer and i wait when i take to the others monitor and verify then it looks completely different or when i printed my image it looks completely different so i was kind of a very frustrated what was happening i have no idea at all and uh, i'm talking about at least uh, five to six years back i know nothing about monitor calibration so uh, i was going through the youtube channel and uh, there are several um, good photographers who are actually talking about the importance of calibration and how to do a calibration so until 2016 i have never calibrated my monitor but then uh, after calibrating my monitor i came to know how important it is so some of you who are planning or some of you uh, who don't know about calibrating uh, your monitor i think uh, this episode is going to help you so in this episode i will take you through the calibrating your monitor then after calibration what happens what are the changes you will see now uh, let me talk a little bit about the science behind calibrating your monitor now uh, imagine you you love to drink coffee every morning and you will have your specific taste how much sugar to give how much coffee to give how much you will fade it so everything you know because because you are the person who is making the coffee and you're, you're, you're you are tasting the coffee every morning now imagine you went to a restaurant to take the coffee and it tastes completely different yes so uh, and imagine now that wherever across the world you go to a restaurant and you get the same exact taste that you love exactly that is what it is so a calibrator will standardize your monitor across all the medias and uh, the platforms. A calibrated monitor will give you a persistent color renditions in across all the monitors. And specifically, uh, it is important when you print your images. Now imagine you have processed your image perfectly and it looks beautiful in your monitor. Now if you uh, take that image for printing and it comes out differently. That's exactly uh, what I'm talking about. When we calibrate our monitor, your printer is going to see the exact color that you are seeing through your monitor. <clears throat> so what this device does is, this device actually reads the color and brightness of your monitor and it will adjust accordingly. Now why it is important because, uh, let's take it this way. When I bought, uh, I have a BenQ monitor. So when I bought this monitor, it actually gave me a kind of a, a very neutral color. I was very satisfied with it. But I have a Dell monitor too, which is giving a little bit of a warm color to me. Now I have a MacBook. That MacBook gives a kind of a uh, colder tone. So across the monitor, it depends on uh, the brands to brands, what kind of exposure you are actually getting. So now you see there is a problem. You view your image or process your image in a neutral color. When you take it to a MacBook, it will look colder. Now when you take it to the Dell monitor or other brands, it might look differently. So the colors are not uh, persistent across the monitors. So that's why we need to calibrate our monitor. LED monitors tend to lose their brightness as uh, it gets older. And uh, because of that, you will not get a persistent uh, color in your monitor. So by the time I received my monitor, it might have lost some of its juice. And uh, it, it does happen with all the monitors. But I guess the professional monitors, they might retain the brightness and consistency uh, like your BenQ professional monitors, photographer's monitors. Therefore, a calibrator will do a necessary adjustments to your monitor to give you that persistent color and brightness at the same time. Now, let me try to simplify again. Our DSLR camera will capture the broad spectrum of uh, light and it will convert into digital and will save in your uh, memory card as a raw file. And, and basically the raw file is pretty flat to give you the wide dynamic range. Now when we take this uh, file into our computer, it will decode it and the signal will be sent to the monitor and monitor will in terms will project you as a visible spectrum. Now in between, we will be processing our image as 
as what our heart contains and we'll be messing up with lots of color. So uh, our monitor has no way to verify whether the colors it's projecting is accurate or not. What a monitor is projecting as red may not look like red and because of that an external calibrator will read those visible spectrum for you from your monitor and will do the necessary adjustments if required. The color that a monitor is projecting or its brightness, it is also again affected by the ambient light. Now you can see there is a, a window on my back. Now in that broad daylight, if I process my image, I will see a little change in my monitor, uh, even the colors. And if I don't adjust my brightness accordingly, then I will see a very faded color. Modern calibrators are even able to adjust your color according to the ambient of your room. So it's a huge advantage for us. So at present in the market, you will basically get a spider uh, monitor that is from the data color and uh, x ride Now let me show you how the calibrator looks like. By the way, uh, I bought this uh, x ride This is i1 Display Studio. When I bought, I got it like this. There is no packaging. I don't know whether they are shipping their product in this way. So any of you, if you are having uh, the same i1 display studio, let me know whether you have received this way without packaging or what, I don't know. I will uh, give you the link below. This one I bought from Amazon. So this is what, this is how I got it. So you have a manual here, a thank you note. And this is the manual. By the way, this is not an unboxing video, and nor it is sponsored by x -Rite in any way. So, you have a next strip. And this is the actual calibrator. Let me keep this box aside. So this is how the calibrator looks like. So this is the sensor from where it reads the color. Now enough of talking, let me show you how to calibrate your monitor. Before calibration, it is important to turn on the monitor at least for 30 minutes. Now we will connect the calibrator to the USB hub. Now let's begin our calibration. I'll be calibrating my BenQ monitor here. So let's open i1 Display Studio. Right here we can see under display calibration, it's a display or a projector. So ours is display. So click here. Now upon clicking that, the software has already recognized which monitors I'm connected to. So we'll be calibrating BenQ LCD. Photo is selected as a default. Now it is giving us a color space of DCI-P3 and white point of D65 and luminance 120. Now in video, we do have a little bit of liberty to change it. And in custom, yes, definitely we can change all this. But it is recommended to set in a D65. That is the best representation of white point and luminance at 120. So since we are basically concentrating on photo and video at the same time, we can use this default value. Now let's click next. Now device status is ready. Calibration metric is white LED. An adjustment, we do have liberty to change the brightness and contrast. So we'll click there. Now let's start the measurement. Now it's asking us to open the calibrator as shown like this. So we'll place the calibrator as it is shown. Now we have to place the calibrator exactly in the center of the monitor. And after we have done this, we have to click next. So at this point, it is measuring some colors and brightness and ambient at the same time. Now it seems like our monitor has a brightness measurement of 134. Now we have to bring it to the middle as we have seen the arrow. So this measurement indicator, it has to come exactly on the middle at 120. 
So let's do it. Now we have set the brightness according to the desired level, that is 120 candela. So let's click next and begin the calibration process. Now the calibrator will go through 118 process and it will check all the available colors one by one. So let me fast forward at this point so that you will not get bored. Finally the calibration is done. So let's click next and we can save the ICC profile as any name. So I'll keep it as a default name. Profile version is uh, ICC profile version 4. Uh, how often you want to recalibrate your uh, monitor? Four weeks is okay for me. Now let's save the profile. It has been saved. Okay. Yes, now here we can see the changes. So this is after, before, after. Can you see that? Before. So I can see, I don't know how uh, you can see that because YouTube is uh, compressing our files, but I can see uh, quite a huge difference here. The uncalibrated image is little colder, but after calibration, it has become little warmer. Little warmer, it's very subtle. Now you have seen before and after the calibration and there's a huge change uh, in the colors. Now whether you are just starting in photography or you are an amateur or professional, it is important for us to get the perfect picture possible. Now you have seen before and after how drastically it has changed the color. And uh, my monitor was looking a little colder, but then after calibration, it has settled down to its normal standard uh, profile, and which is little warmer in compared to our previous state. So it is very important for us to get the perfect color in our edit. Why? Because we are taking lots of hardships to create the perfect image. And when we send to the print, we cannot afford to mess up with all our colors. <laughs> There's a dog barking. And uh, so I want to summarize saying this, that uh, now we all want uh, our photographs to be as perfect as possible. Uh, what we have seen in the nature, we want to reproduce the same thing. Uh, and we want to achieve the same colors or the tone or the brightness in our post-processing. So I will uh, urge those who have not yet calibrated their monitor, please calibrate because it will give you the perfect rendition of the color and brightness and the hues that you have seen on the field. And uh, we cannot afford to lose our hardship. And uh, what, we, what we love to do is to photograph uh, the nature. So uh, let's keep on clicking and creating images. And uh, that's our passion. And that's why you are here and watching this content. So I'm very grateful to you for your continuous support and also uh, sharing your views with me. And uh, if you like this video, please give me thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you have not yet. So if you want to see a specific content, so let me know in the comments below. I will try to bring you uh, the same. And thank you once again. And with this, we come to the end. So please take care and keep creating beautiful images. Thank you and I'll see you once again. Take care.